Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. This is a follow-up to yesterday's Minecraft myth busting video over on the main channel and I forgot to add something in which really kind of annoyed me so I wanted to show it to you in this video. I was talking about how the game you know figures out what items it's going to put in the chest and I positioned my camera deliberately like this so you had the sign on the left and there was a big space on the right for me to drop in some of the JSON code so what I was talking about would hopefully be visible in the code and maybe help you understand it a little bit but I forgot to edit that in and it really bugged me so I thought well I'll make a video and show you that so we're going to swap the capture around for a second here bam there we go and now you can see the program that I use to read all of this stuff so this is what the JSON code looks like I kind of explained it very concisely in the previous video what I say right now might not be 100% accurate, you know what I'm like with language anyway. Um, so we have our pools, this is where all the roles are going to be. So if you didn't follow it yesterday, um, a role is basically going to have a group of items, these entries which follow it, and you know they are Minecraft diamonds, they've got a weight of 5, and then they have functions as well. This one is set count, you know, min to max 7. As I discussed yesterday, um, the odds of you know 2 to 7, all the different numbers in between are even, the same for rolls as well, you've got an equal chance of getting anything between 2 and 6 and so it's going to roll this twice over at least and then you're going to get all these items from in here and this is what the code looks like so if I, if we go to the desert pyramid one and I click on that bit there um, this red line is sort of highlighting where the first group of rolls will end because as you come down here you can see the bracket ends and another set of rolls starts right here so then this uh, four rolls are going to be from this group of items, right? Uh, that being said, is it me? Wasn't there three groups on this one? I thought there were three groups. No, there were two groups then. Okay, must be remembering incorrectly. Anyway, going back to the end city treasure, there's also something else that I forgot to mention. Really annoyed because when I do this stuff, I take notes and I write them all down. But then sometimes I forget to look at those notes and one of them was to mention that there is a function here that's quite important which is enchant with levels. Now I got a comment saying that the stuff in the end city could get mending on it because there's this like level 31 to 39 enchantment that you can't do in vanilla and therefore you know you can get mending with it. That's not actually true. It's this bit right here, um, enchant, sorry this bit, treasure, true. It means that the enchantment will include treasure enchantments and if the min here was let's say you know, 20 and the max was 30 it would still be able to get mending. Uh, that being said mending might not actually appear you know until after 30 in terms of chance when you do the enchant but I don't know really know that. Um, so technically you could say it's true, but the reason that you see mending is because of this right here and the same for frost walkers. So you can get those enchantments on those items, which was something really important. I think I actually mentioned you could get them or not. Uh, either way, it just bugs me that <laughs> I forget to mention this stuff. And one last thing to mention is that when I was showing the list of items from the end city, I, I said like all the diamond art items and then I put weight free. I was basically trying to say that each individual one had a weight of free rather than group them all up together because then I thought some people would um, complain on that. And what I've realized is that it doesn't matter what way round you do it because there's two possible ways of presenting that information. Someone will always say you did it wrong, you should have done it this way. Um, yeah, so if you've watched this video through, I mean if you you haven't, you've already clicked off so you're not listening to me right now. What am I talking about? There are basically, well, there's one big thing um, that should have been in the main video, which was this treasure enchantment on the end city items. That is, of course, quite important. And now you've seen the JSON code as well. So I'll just break it down one more time for you. Let's go back to the top. We've got rolls up here. You've got your min and your max. It's quite easy to read if you just follow it along. Um, type item. The name of it, you know, it's diamonds, there's its weight, then functions, like I said before, you can have your min and your max um, is set inside of here. You can do things like enchant and um, all of that cool stuff. I think there's a few other things, but it's not coming to mind right now. And this is what it all looks like. So if you did want to make your own custom loot table, you could come in here and just, you know, change the numbers, basically change the item name and change the weight and, you know, that's, that's kind of it. So yeah, anyway, that's it from me of this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. I might make a few more like this, so feel free to let leave a comment and let me know if you like the idea of me just uploading these little 
rebuttal slash talky videos to to the second channel, which is something I think I might do. Yeah. So anyway, that's enough. <laughs> See you next time. Bye bye.